Shalom. First off, I want to start up by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakadosh. Just all praises to the world called God, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. By Hashem, in the name, and Yahweh Shai being the name of the only begotten Son. I also want to say the honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone, and peace and mercy to the Ophel Lake. I'm Brother Tazabon, the great millstone, Arizona Camp Lord Will, with another video to edify. I'm going to get right into it. It says the U.S. deploys 3,000 troops to Middle East. The moves come soon after Iran boosts uh, its own naval capac uh, capabilities with a series of new weapons. The U.S. military deployed thousands of, uh, thousands of troops and additional navy, naval assets to the Middle East, stressing the need to deter Iran forces after accusing Tehran of harass, harassing commercial vessels and other destabilizing actions. The U.S. Navy's 5th Fleet announced the decision on Monday. Noting, Slakia, noting that more than 3,000 Marines and sailors had arrived in the Red Sea abroad, uh, an amphibious assault ship and a dock uh, landing vessel the day prior. And I got to pull this up as far as prophecy goes, right? I got to pull up a map. Let me do that. Man. I don't know how I press pause, but let's just, get, let's just go through it again. It's the spirit. The Lord wanted to be said again. This is Zephyr, not Zechariah. Three. I thought I was recording in this, the recorded paused. Zephaniah three and eight. Zephaniah three and eight. Therefore, wait ye upon me, say Yahweh. Uh, until I, until the day that I rise up to the prey, for my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So this is what we're seeing. We're seeing the Lord gather all the troops, just like He said He was going to do. Right. All these troops are being rounded up and gathered up and taken where to the Middle East because that pro that all goes into prophecy. So the most important thing that we do is go into prophecy. It shows you where you're at in time frame. It shows you what the Lord's about to do. Right. This is Joel three. And two. It says that I'll I will also gather all nations, right? And I will bring them down into the valley of Yahushapat. We go to that word Yahushapat. Jehoshaphat, it really is Yahushapat, which means uh, uh, the Lord's judgment, right? Shapat meaning judgment, Yahweh meaning the Lord's name. And I will plead with them there for my people, right? And how does the Lord plead, right? And how well, how do you know where the valley of Yahushapat is? Well, when you go to Joel 2 and 20, it says, But I will remove far from you the northern army, and which is happening now, and this is what we're seeing. And the northern army is being removed, right? With those 3,000 troops. And they even had some something like 3,000 troops or 5,000 not too long ago, including reservists. Right, that would be shipped out. It says, uh, and I will drive them into a land barren and desolate. And what is that barren and desolate land? Now it gives you more information. With its face towards the east sea, right, and its hinder part, part towards the utmost sea. And you go to the map, right? So they said what they a road arrived in this amphibious watercraft in that article. Go to it right here. It says U.S. military has deployed thousands of troops and additional naval assets to the Middle East, stressing 
the need to deter Iranian forces after accusing Tehran of harassing commercial vessels and other destabilizing actions. The U.S. Navy Fleet uh, Fifth Fleet announced the decision on Monday, noting that more than 3,000 Marines and sailors had arrived in the Red Red Sea abroad in an amphibious assault ship and a dock landing vessel the day prior. Now, that's what you're seeing right there. They told you they landed in, in the Red Sea. Well, that's prophecy, right? Because when you go to this face towards the East Sea, it's talking about the Persian Gulf, right? And then you have this utmost part towards the red, towards the, towards the, towards the you have this hinder part towards the utmost sea, which is talking about the Red Sea. And this is what they're doing. And now what, what are they looking at? Tehran, which is in Iran, right? So this is what they're doing. They're looking exactly the way the Lord said they would. All right? It says, um, and his thing shall come up and his, and his ill savior shall come up because he had done great things. And that's what's happening. The Lord is moving the chess pieces around the chessboard. Now in Joel, the third chapter, we read how the Lord said he was going to plead with all flesh. If you go to Isaiah 66, it tells you how the Lord pleads, right? Isaiah 66 and 16, it says, For by fire and my sword will you how a plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So that's how the Lord pleads, by fire and by a sword. He's not going to plead and beg like people do. No, no, no. The Lord's just going to get down to business, all right? The Lord is the greatest mob boss that ever lived. Uh, he, he, he cuts ties quick. He gets it. He cuts right to the point. He's been off. He's been touching my people. He's been causing all this hell on the earth. Well, the Lord's going to sit here and, and provide a reaction to this devil's movement. All right? This is 2nd Ezra 15. And 20. It says, Behold, say how will I will call together all the kings of the earth to reverence me, which are from the rising of the sun, from the south, from the east, in Lebanon, to, to, to turn themselves one against another and repay the things that they have done to them. And that's what the Lord is doing. For all this wickedness that he's heathen, these other nations, Esau, Edom has done to us. The Lord is moving these chess pieces in order to what? Pour his anger and wrath upon them in the valley of Yahweh Shabbat. The Lord is going to start putting out that hot, fiery judgment. And military action will be taken. Which all ties into it. In the, in the book of Revelation, the Lord said what? Three, two wolves have passed. And the third coming quickly, that third woe is talking about uh, World War Three. The two world woes that pass are the First World War and the Second. This is all prophecy. This is the most important thing that we have to keep our minds on. Because these things show us that times are moving quicker. So call hello, you have Hashem and Hashem for that. This is Job 18 and 11. I'm going to end it there. I don't want it to be too much, too long. All right, Ter uh, I'll start at nine. It says, The jinn, which is a trap, shall take him by the hill, and the robber shall prevail against him. The snare is laid for him in the ground, and a trap for him in the way. And terror shall make him afraid on every side, and shall drive him to his feet. That's what's happening. Right? How many conflicts and concerns do they have right now? That they're trying to either supply somebody with weapons to fight a battle for them or move their, their, their soldiers and everything around this often. Do you know these military people, these career military men that have been in there for years have never seen as much mobilization of, of their personnel this frequently? Right? Why? Because things are getting hot and heavy and the Lord's about to start pushing forth his judgment. Right? But another, another show that the Lord is about to do his thing. So we're willing to edify it. You know, making this too long. Just get some article, get, 
get some scriptures, make these things simple. All right? Or willing it was edifying them to say, call Halal, Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shalom.